Hey everyone, it's Matt Bach with Fusion Systems. And if you're a video editor, we've got some great news for you. Now, whether you edit videos as a hobby or professionally, it's pretty much a guarantee that you've had to work with H.264 or HEVC Media. It's also pretty much a guarantee that it probably wasn't a great experience. Now, these codecs are terrific, giving you really good video quality and small file size, but the way they do that is through heavy compression, and that makes them not good to edit with unless you have some very specific hardware in your computer. But like we said, there's some good news. In the latest version of Premiere Pro, Adobe has added GPU decoding for H.264 and HEVC Media. Now, a feature similar to this was already present, but it used Intel QuickSync, which was only available on very select Intel CPUs. With this new update, anyone who has a GPU, and if you're using Premiere Pro, you should have a GPU, can take advantage of GPU decoding to accelerate performance when working with these codecs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a couple of common devices that shoot with these codecs. We have a DJI Mavic 2, a GoPro 7, and an iPhone. We're gonna shoot some test clips, we're gonna load them up on a couple of different systems and see what this new feature has to offer. All right, we have our footage and we have it loaded onto our two test systems. Now these systems are gonna give us a good look at how GPU decoding works in Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now that we're in Premiere Pro, we can look at some of the highlights of our testing. Now here at Puget Labs, we tend to test a lot of things and there's no way we could fit it all into one video. So if you wanna view all of our test clips, you can find them in our supporting article. To start off, we're gonna look at scrubbing performance with 4K H.264 footage from a GoPro Hero 7. Now, as you can see, software mode is not really that great. There's a lot of jumps, there's a lot of jitter. And GPU decoding on the AMD system or QuickSync on the Intel system are very smooth. They're both terrific. So you no longer need QuickSync to get great scrubbing performance. Starting with forward playback with JKNL, it's pretty good actually with 1x speed and even all the way up to 2x speed with software decoding. The real problem comes into play when you get up to 4x. Here, software decoding really stutters. It's pretty much unusable. GPU decoding can still have a few drop frames here and there, but it is very smooth most of the time. When we start to go in reverse, that is where software mode really starts to have issues. Here, we're getting maybe a few frames per second. Even at 2x speed in reverse, GPU decoding handles it very well, whereas software mode, again, is maybe one FPS. Moving on to the iPhone footage, we're shooting at 4K HEVC, and this is VFR footage, which is really difficult for editing on top of the fact that it's HEVC. With scrubbing, you can see how smooth it is with the GPU versus software mode. For playback with the L key, at 1x speed and even all the way up to 2x speed, we pretty much have no problems with software mode or GPU. The problem really comes into play when we get all the way up to 4x speed. Here, software mode is pretty much unusable, whereas GPU decoding looks great. Going into reverse is pretty much the same story as what we saw with the GoPro. Software mode is dropping frames constantly, whereas GPU is only dropping a frame here or there. With multicam, four streams is really no problem for all of our test setups. It's when we get up to nine streams that GPU decoding is really gonna show you a major advantage over software. The last footage we're gonna look at is from a DJI Mavic 2, and the footage we're working with is 4K HEVC. There shouldn't be any surprise here that with scrubbing, significantly faster with the GPU decoding than software. Playback is also a pretty similar story as the other test clips we looked at. Up to 2x speed can be just fine with software mode, but as soon as you get up to 4x, you're going to see a massive improvement with GPU decoding. Reverse, again, same thing. You're pretty much not going to use software mode for reverse when you're working with this type of footage. Whereas with a GPU, you can use JKL editing and be nice and smooth all the way up to 2x speed in reverse. Multicam is actually a very interesting one with this footage from the DJI Mavic 2. Four streams might not be a problem for software mode, but when you get up to nine, you're gonna drop far fewer frames with GPU decoding. In fact, if you happen to have 12 streams of footage from the DJI Mavic 2, you actually can edit it with multicam with GPU decoding. It may drop a few frames here or there, but compared to software mode, which still hasn't rendered one frame, it's definitely a night and day difference. If it isn't obvious yet, this new update with GPU decoding in Premiere Pro is very significant. Until now, if you wanted the best performance when working with H.264 and HEVC Media, you were pretty much locked into using an Intel CPU with QuickSync. If you want more raw power from either Intel or AMD, you essentially had to give up performance when working with some of the most common codecs in use today. With this new update, you can now get the best CPU for the rest of your workflow and leave the GPU to decode H.264 and HVC media. We're really excited about this update from Adobe, and we're really interested to see what it enables you to create.